Hello everybody, it's Pixie again. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Pixie. My name is Pixie. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you have to be doing right now. I hope you're doing it fabulously. And today I'm really excited about this video because I have two unboxings to do. Super excited about these unboxings. I've waited all week and probably two weeks for the other package, but all week for this one. I went to Shop Miss A and I placed an order there. Uh, they have super cute stuff. Drink every time I say cute, super cute. Welcome to another awkward video. Yay! We all love hauls. We all love unboxings. So let's get right into it. The other one is a package from my very talented best friend Raven. And I will link her Instagram down below. She is a graphic designer and a photographer. She's going to school for it. And when she found out that my Molly died out of the bottom of her heart, she printed out some Molly projects for me. And... I haven't seen them yet, and I'm sure that I'm going to probably tear up a little bit, but she was so sweet to send me these, and she said that she sent me copies so I can give some to Mom as well, because Molly meant a lot to us. She was my 16-year-old cat. I lost her a little over a month ago now, I think, and she was just my best friend. I was devastated to lose her. She was almost 16 years old, and she that cat just had my heart. And I'm also wearing a gift that Heather gave me, Raven gave me, a while back. It's a resin custom necklace that she ma had made for me. It has a little My Little Pony and it's rainbow glitter and it says Pixie. So every time I wear this, I think of her. Uh, we are pen pals. She lives in Tennessee and we send each other packages and we have been doing so for years since we met on Live Journal. She is a great person. So I'll link down her Instagram below so you can check out her work and what she posts because she's just a wonderful friend and bless her soul she tolerates my ass and we have the same sense of humor so we just yeah we're gonna hang out someday she's gonna come down we're gonna go to Disney we're gonna go thrifting we're gonna wear prom dresses for no reason because that's what this channel is all about is doing what makes you happy and if people stare let them do it just keep doing it as long as it's not hurting anybody so we'll just write in just, I have words, get right into the makeup I'm wearing so we can get that out of the way. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I do have almost 100 subscribers now, so thank you very much, by the way, for all of your support. Uh, I always talk about what I'm wearing because I feel like if whatever makeup you're doing makes you happy, then keep on wearing it. Just like, wear anything else. Glittery skirts that makes you happy. It's not offending anybody. Nobody's going to lose sleep on it if they don't like your sense of style, so just keep doing you, baby. So I've talked about this brand before. I'm talking really fast tonight, so let's just take a breather. <laughs> I get really excited about my videos because the more responses I get, the more happy I am to record because it's just an outlet for me, but it's nice to know there are other people out there who appreciate the same thing. Cheers to that. So hopefully my videos bring a smile to your face. And shout out to Luna Rainbow as well. She gave me a shout out on her video, so go check her out. She makes these beautiful wreaths. She's very crafty. She has the same sense of style I do. She loves Disney. She loves Gothic. She loves Rainbow. Hence her name, Luna Rainbow. She loves Sailor Moon. She has some great content out there, so I'll link her down below as well. Us YouTubers, with all the YouTube changes going on, I'm a baby YouTuber myself. We need to support each other. There's a whole new wave of YouTubers coming out. And I'm not a fan of the drama channels. Sometimes I watch them to amuse myself, but I don't want to become one of those channels. So if you have an opinion about like certain makeup or certain clothes, keep it to yourself because this is not the channel for it. That's not the space that we want here. I want everything to be rainbow and glittery and happiness and just, just be yourself and be happy and make sure whatever you do to a day-to-day -day basis makes you smile. And make sure everybody else around you is also making you smile. Get rid of the negativity, get rid of the drama, get rid of all that, what they call it, the uh, negative energy in the Sailor Moon world. So I'm going to adjust my light a little bit. That's a little bright. So there we go. I'm not blinding you. And so we'll just get right into the makeup. This is probably going to be longer than I intended it to be. But we'll just get your wine, get your coffee, get your tea. Not the drama tea. I've talked about this brand before. It is Essence. They are cruelty free. I do believe I found them on a hush and the packaging is just fantastic. My nickname is Pixie so of course I'm drawn to fairy wings and magical things. All of the colors are named in a fairy tale theme. So you can see the pastels and there's some glitter and some mattes. I am wearing True Love's Kiss on my eyelids and in the, oop, I'm mirrored, the crease right here this one. No. 
that one. We can do this. We'll get there together. That silver is in the crease and the corners of my eye. Hello. And that is called Fairy Wand. And then I did the waterline with Off to Fantasyland. This light blue right here. So I'm really enjoying this palette. There is some fallout, but I don't care because you just take a brush and poof, there's your fallout is gone. My highlighter is actually an eyeshadow, but I'm really enjoying it. This is by Nicole Miller and it's called Stay Golden. And like I said, it says eyeshadow palette, but look at these metallic, beautiful, obviously golden inspired colors. So I used these two guys right here with a big fat brush and just went back and forth on my cheeks and it is just blinding. I'm only looking at the screen to see like where I'm pointing. And yeah, you can just, I love it. So I'm, since I broke my favorite highlighter, if you did not watch my last vlog, rest in peace by BYS. Like only the purple one broke, so I think I can take some alcohol, like rubbing alcohol and do a dropper and put it, maybe repair it. I've done that before. But I don't know if I salvaged enough off the floor. I didn't mean to rhyme. <laughs> but we'll see. Because I haven't found it anywhere. There's one on eBay, I think. But I can't tell if it's used or not. And that's kind of weird. And my lipstick is NYX Liquid Suede in Dessert First. I love these colors. They dry really fast for like they're not sticky that's why I don't really reach for a liquid lip but because they dry so fast and they mat down so quickly I don't have a problem with that in the whole like daily wear and it doesn't get on my teeth or anything you know how lipsticks are so this is the box from shop miss a so this is $35 worth of stuff and I bought like I said I, I, I bought some duplicates for Heather slash Raven again her Instagram will be down below and if I see something I like and I usually buy a duplicate for my mom and because mom buys me stuff all the time so we just kind of go back and forth so yeah you just get a basic label I already got rid of my address so let's see where my handy dandy sticker cover knife is this is so satisfying don't you love opening stuff it's like Christmas I love Shop Miss A they are cruelty free and all their stuff is a dollar except for their charity events. I bought some makeup brushes in my last Shop Miss A haul, which are beautiful brushes. And all the proceeds went to homeless animals, so that was awesome. And their staple for the packaging is pink tissue paper. And usually there's a Shop Miss A sticker right here, but I think that is... This is the first time I've opened this, so let's see. Let's have some fun with it. And then you have the... Shop Miss A inspected like the less and it looks like everything was in stock. I've only been refunded once and they gave me a dollar back because they were out of a necklace or something that I got. So yeah, they have sunglasses, they have accessories, they have hair products, they have uh, makeup of course, everything is cruelty free. They are big on recycling and saving the planet. I'm so excited to get into this. So the first thing we have is reusable straws. And as my followers already know, my husband and I are Disney Pass holders, and I think I've talked about this before, Disney Pass hold, uh, Disney Parks have stopped giving out plastic straws, and the paper straws just kind of wilt in your drink before you can finish your drink, especially in the Florida heat, you can't drink it fast enough, and the paper gets on your mouth, and it's just irritating. So I've been buying reusable straws, but I haven't tried the metal ones yet, so this is a set of five metal straws. Two are bendy and they're different lengths and I think the rubber tips are so the metal doesn't hit your teeth. So these are great and then it came with two straw slash bottle brushes so you can wash them by hand and they don't get all gunky after drinking your soda or your margarita or whatever you have. And yay! Saving like the earth. Saving like, oh my god, the earth. Uh, FDA approved, food grade, and BPA free stainless steel, and these were, I think, $5, but I think these proceeds also went to another charity, so that was fantastic. Cannot wait to try those out, and because I already have the plastic reusable straws, I do not have the metal ones yet, so we'll see what we prefer. I'll do a review or something. I'm doing a review on straws. <laughs> hey, it's content, right? Somebody will watch it. Uh, next up, we have two 
of the Shea Glitter and Primer Set. So it has Silver Loose Glitter, Create Your Own Makeup, and a Long Lasting Glitter Primer in the same color, Silver. So I'm going to give one of these to Raven as well. Spoiler alert for your next package. Uh, these were a dollar. They had different colors. I believe there was gold and maybe a pink one, but a lot of the Shop Miss A stuff either sells out or they'll, you can ask for an email when they go back in stock because being a dollar, you can imagine how much stuff sells out so quickly, but it's just a great website. And this is another duplicate. I got a cute llama coin pouch and it just has a little keychain on it. And yeah, it's just plain on the inside. I love anything holographic and I love llamas and alpacas. I love any animal. So I thought that was really cute. So I'm going to give one of these to mom because she has the same love for llamas that I do. And let's see, for Renaissance Fair, I cannot find my other strands of pearls. So I bought a three strand, like for costume jewelry, but you know, crinkle, crinkle. Sorry about the caustic and the glare. And it came with stud earrings in the same style pearls and they kind of fell to the bottom. But yeah, I thought that was really cute and it would be good for Renaissance hair. The little earrings are just basic pearl studs. They're actually pretty heavy and it's like a choker style. So I'm really happy about those. Yay. I still have more stuff to unbox. The next thing is these little makeup pouches you can see AOA studio that's one of the makeup brands they sell which is also cruelty free and I'll leave the tissue paper in it so you can see the design but it's that water cup design from like the 80s and 90s and it's that plastic vinyl -y. yeah that's a pretty good size like clear makeup bag or purse pouch it has a flat bottom, which I'm trying to straighten out, so it's got plenty of room. But yeah, the design is really cute, so I got two of those. One is going to Raven. There's the brand name. Yay, we're almost halfway done. And I got two of these as well. It's just a little... Oh, one's unwrapped, so that'll be easier to show. So two of these. It's a little unicorn crossbody pouch with just the basic zipper right here. And it's got rainbows and unicorns. So anything with those two things makes me happy. These were also a dollar. They had different designs as well. I believe there was a, like a donut one and uh, something else rainbowy. But of course, me and unicorns will never part. Let's see. And I got this highlighter by AOA Studio called Wonder in the color Fairy, which is appropriate for me. And let's do a swatchy swatch. So it's a baked highlighter. Oh, that's shimmery. Yeah, I'm liking that. It's a very light gold, so I'm excited to use this, especially since my BYS broke. Rest in peace. And there's the second one for Raven. We were both into Hush. Like, I told her about Hush, and we were just talking back and forth about what we spent our points on, and then Hush ended, and we were just both sad. So, Shop Miss A is kind of like a nice equivalent, because a lot of Hush stuff was... $15 and under for a palette and then like an eyeliner would be a dollar and free shipping and then every time you logged in you could get free points and then save your points and it would pay for your shipping essentially. And I'm running out of my All May, my Best Light Foundation Concealer BB Cream so I decided to try AOA's Studio Perfect BB Cream in, what is this color? Fair? Because I'm very pale, so we're going to try that one out. I'll probably do a whole look from Shop Miss 8 for my makeup. But yeah, I got the palest color available in this BB cream, and I do believe it has SPF in it. Nope. But that's fine, because I have sunscreen anyway. And here's AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. And I got this in porcelain. Again, this is the palest color. This comes in and has the dropper. So, like I said, I will definitely do a look with some AOA makeup or shop my same makeup and I got is this the last makeup one no I have two more makeup thing thanks <laughs> this is by Santi matte eyeshadow and it has these little rhinestones on the packaging and the Eiffel Tower and it has a lime green a yellow a teal and a light blue and a purple in the middle so I'm really excited about this I love matte colors and I cannot wait to see if I need like to build it up or if I need a primer because I love bright colors and actually just doing these swatches on my hands they're not that 
like yeah that's just one swipe and that's pretty bright the purple has a little bit like you need to build it up but the green and the yellow that was just one swipe I'm excited to use this pretty colors very 80s but I'm loving the 80s these days so. oh I'm an 80s baby I was born in 85 but I've always loved the 80s aesthetic if you will <laughs> and then we got the what brand is this oh this is AOA as well AOA is cruelty free there's the little bunny on the back of both of these this was a set and it says special $1.88 edition but because it's a two pack I believe it was about $3 or $3.50 or something so one is a primer spray for smooth and even skin I love wet and wilds primer spray and coconut so I cannot wait to try this out and see if I like it better or if it's about the same and then the setting spray locks in makeup we all know what that is if anybody is a makeup guru watching my channel we're like not needing to explain it but this will keep your makeup good all day so my trial would be a disney park day when it's 90 degrees let's see if my makeup holds up then and i'll get back to you guys about that so because the wet and wild primers and setting sprays are pretty freaking good in the florida heat and let's see before we get into the jewelry because there's a bunch down here and hair accessories words I, I have them accessories i got this loose powder eyeshadow by princessa princessa and it's a light purple i got two of those so raven will be receiving one of these as well i cannot wait to try these out i basically have a whole look here except for lips and mascara in this box and then I got two flower crowns with Renaissance in mind in November. And even though I usually make my own flower crowns, I saw these on Shop Miss A for a dollar. So here's this one. Flip around flower. It's pink and white and it has a little bow on the back so you can adjust it. And it has wire so you can bend it to your liking either. Yeah, let's just wear this for the rest of the video. Oh, I'm a fairy princess. And the second one I got is rainbow with white flowers and it has the double wire on it but this one does not untie but it's still flexible so you can probably adjust it to your head face pieces mine's a little big so we'll figure that out for Ren and the flowers seem like they're really good quality they're all wired on there so I don't think they're gonna fall off when I'm walking around Ren which will be a vlog don't worry so we'll steampunk those are all happening through November this is my season. All right, let's get this box out of my lap since we're down to the last bits and items. This is another duplicate. I thought Raven would enjoy this as well because we both love anything anime looking or glittery or animals. And then we have it all in one because I've been watching a lot of Sailor Moon lately. I'm a huge Sailor Moon fan. This reminds me of something Usagi would wear. So these are glittery silver bunny clips. They just have the basic clip alligator clip on the back the only thing I don't like about them is that they're gold but you can't really tell they're gold once they're in your hair so I got two of these they were a dollar they had different colors as well I think there was a black glitter and a red glitter but I just went with the traditional silver glitter I love these so cute super cute drink and that brand is just simply called it girl so it's almost like a claire's type style of store because the next thing totally reminds me of claire's crossed with lisa frank i think a lot of people on my channel will actually appreciate these these were a dollar four six you get 10 clips that look like this look at that rainbow zebra print neon yellow purple leopard print bright pink and pink leopard print I love clips like this they are so cool to put in like an updo or just on the side pin your bangs bangs back so Heather and I are getting Raven I can't okay please tell me Raven what you'd prefer to go by because I always say pixie Sarah and your Heather Raven to me so, but yeah we both appreciate stuff like this we are huge Lisa Frank fans Luna Rainbow pay attention check out shop miss a for hairstyle stuff because she's a huge Lisa Frank person as well yeah, these just remind me of the 90s and Lisa Frank. Moving on, they're just hair clips, Sarah. <laughs> and we are down to the last four things of the Shop Miss A box. A lot of these are bought, I bought because of Renaissance Fair, keeping that in mind. So this is a Tree of Life. Are these earrings? Yes, they, it's a Tree of Life pendant. Let me open one of them because glare! Gotta love your ring lights, but you have to work with them. Claire, say that again, Sarah. 
There you go. A little rhinestone silver tree of life, and it came with stud earrings of the same design. So I got one of these from mom as well. And I just love tree of life stuff. In case you couldn't tell, I wear this pair of earrings all the time and my fairies from Renaissance Fair. So that's another reason I love Renaissance Fair. They have the best accessories. So this will go well with my Renaissance get up. And again, the last two things are also Renaissance Fair. I forgot I ordered these because they're too cute. Super cute. <laughs> they are, the brand is Mini, not affiliated with Disney, I'm sure. And they're little rhinestone crown barrettes slash bobby pins. I love stuff like this. I just, random hairstyles, just stick it in your hair, along with my hair falls. Link somewhere over here, doing the link dance about how to wear my hair falls and how I style them. But yeah, little rhinestone silver crowns, those would be good for Ren Fair as well and everyday wear because I dress like it's Ren Fair or a party every day. And the very last thing is just simply labeled fashion jewelry. So these are three barrette slash bobby pin style hair accessories. So you have the pearls to go with the necklace and then this one has this little diamond design and a little rhinestone and this one's just plain silver. So I th th thought that would be a cute accent with what I made for one of my Renaissance Fair outfits the other night. I just simply took, I wanted to make a veil for Renaissance Fair, like peasants wear veils and such like that. So I just took a vintage scarf that I found at maybe Goodwill or another thrift store. It's like a triangle and it's just this wispy chiffon material. And all I did was I sewed it to a hair comb. So I figured I could top it with the pearl barrette to hide the stitches when I wear it in my hair with my peasant costume because that's what we do. <laughs> so that's it for Shop Miss A. Definitely check that website out. Hopefully I'll be sponsored someday because I love seeing, they change every day because like I said, their stock goes in, their stock goes out and stuff sells out really fast. Sometimes they do mystery bags, but those sell out so quickly. I have not had my chance to get my hands on them, but maybe somebody from Shop Miss A is watching this <laughs> and will just let me shop because I have not been disappointed yet by anything that they've sent me. And the quality is obviously what you pay for, but it's just like going to a dollar store or Walmart, but they just have so many unique pieces that for a dollar you can't really complain because they're so different and just so much fun so this is from raven and there we go so you cannot stalk her she is mine to stalk and she just sent me this flat envelope and i already got rid of my address on it and it says do not bend please donke gracias merci so i will just show you a couple of these like i said i have not looked at these yet and there's a cute little kitty sticker on the inside and I'm gonna have to cut that out from the envelope and save it because it looks like a bunch of mollies. It looks like, yeah, there's some Siamese babies on that sticker. And it says Molly Picks. Let's get to the big ones first. Oh, I'm gonna have to get some frames for these. So she did this collage of Molly and it has me holding her in different pictures that I sent her. And then it has Molly right there with this beautiful font. And of course it's rainbow background because it's like Heather knows me or something. So there's two of those. So we'll frame them and give one to mom as well. Oh, I love this one. This fractal art. I think that's what you call it. Raven, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But it's Molly's portrait. Oh, it's so pretty. So there are two of those as well. And they're matted nicely on sturdy paper, and I cannot wait to frame those and hang them somewhere in this room. And then she gave me two sets of photos, and they're basically the same prints as the collages and, and doubles, so I can give mom some. Aw, oh, them attacking my purse. That's her son, Julian. And there's what the fractal one was inspired by. These are so sweet. Thank you, Raven. And then we had this joke because there are some people I don't get along with anymore, like an ex and an ex-friend, 
and you know drama which is not part of this channel but the funny story was like I really like this photo of me and since you do photo editing all the time can you cut these people out of the photo so this is kind of an inside joke and I was just she printed them out for me I was like so surprised that she did this for me she did this instead <laughs> So she just put pieces of me over where those people were because I just really, like, being vain for a moment, I really liked that photo of me. And she titled it Adobe Photoshop Edit, Love Raven, September 4th. And I don't know, that's, this is how talented she is. I, I love it. <laughs> and she sent it to me on Facebook Messenger and I was like, did you really do that? And I did not expect her to actually print it out. It was so funny. I just, yeah. Thank you so much, Raven. That's great. And then... This one is titled Pixie Meeting Shrek Donkey and Lord Farquaad, edited 914. <laughs> and I'm just. I have no words. <laughs> I love you so much, Raven. You have no idea, like, what your talent is. Like, I'm amazed. I love it. <laughs> and she took a picture of her bunny in her yard. And this is a really badass purse she got. I'm going to copy off of her one day and get this purse. So it's like all fractal and it changes color in the sun. And it reminds me of Epcot Space Shop. Space Shop? Yeah. Words. Spaceship Earth. And I was like, this is so cool. And then when she showed me in the sunlight. Yeah. I, I need one of those purses in my lives. So I'm going to make her comment down below. Tell me where she got it. I think it was Amazon, but I don't even know like what to type in to look for it. So Molly had 10 kittens. And only one looked like her, but unfortunately she was adopted. I should have kept the Molly baby. These are beautiful. I'm gonna cry. So I'm not gonna show every single picture, but this is probably one of my favorite pictures of Molly ever. Which you probably saw in the Molly Rest in Peace vlog. If you watch that, I'll probably link it somewhere if I have enough cards. <laughs> I think that's what they call them. But yeah, thank you so much, Raven. I really appreciate these. You have no idea. Like, it, my, it touched my heart. As you know, you do anyway, being one of my best friends, of course. And the fact that you took the time to do this and got all these photos printed out and that collage is just beautiful. And yeah, I'm going to get choked up. Because <laughs> I still miss my Molly every day. And every time I go to Mom's house, I just keep expecting her to, like, trot up to me and just meow at me. And um, here's some of her kittens. All of her beans. So... Yeah, a lot of them got adopted, and we ended up keeping a couple of them, and they just, you know, we just kind of, as cats do when they're indoor, outdoor, you just kind of lose them over the years, and so, anyways, Molly was a big part of our lives, and yeah, thank you so much, Raven, it really means a lot to me, I owe you big time, and you're super talented, you should be famous, and she sent me another envelope, from Walgreens and it says aesthetics she always sends me these artsy photos and then I send her uh, bullet journal stuff in return because she scrapbooks and keeps journals and stuff so like we just kind of know what each other likes like 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 oh my god <laughs> so I haven't looked at these yet at all along with the Molly ones I did kind of peek at the Molly ones but I kind of knew what I was expecting except for the collage and like the big piece of art I love this so much <clears throat> Anyway, <laughs> and yeah, we have some whole personality crisis that is so me, some Disney. So I'm not going to go through all these because I'm already at 28 minutes, but that was my unboxing. <laughs> and thank you so much for everybody who has been supporting me and my YouTube journey. If what, whatever you're doing is making you happy, it's not hurting anybody else. Keep on doing it. Wear that tiara. Wear your flower crown. Wear some wings. Drink your wine. Drink your coffee. Drink your tea. Whatever you're doing makes you happy. Keep on doing it because you only live once as far as you know. I will talk to you guys very soon. Pixie out. <laughs>